Good morning, good morning, good morning. Lisa here. This is Lisa 6 and 3, and here is God's strength for you and me this day. Our scripture reading is coming from Ephesians 2. We're going to start at 4. But God, comma, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. For by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works lest anyone should boast. I'm going to stop there. I don't even know how to break this passage of scripture down without being in a Sunday school class. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, God. So, Paul is talking to the church <laughs> and he's letting the church know God has an abundance of mercy. Mercy is unlimited in God. He's rich. If you are rich, you have an unlimited source of money. You can give me a blank check and you just say, go, you don't need to know the prices in the store. Just like, I want that, 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 that. An abundance of mercy. Mm -mm -mm. And many of us are still asking God to forgive us. And you are a Christian and you are walking in the faith of God and you are still asking God to forgive you for your sin. The moment you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you accepted his freedom. When you said, Lord, I believe you died on the cross for me. I believe you shed blood for my sin, for my trespasses. And a trespass is spiritually dead and lost. When you are dead in trespasses and sin, you are spiritually dead and lost. If you are walking with Christ today, you are no longer dead, nor are you lost. Let's not be like the elephants. When the chain has been released from their ankle, they stand in the same place. God, had, whom the Son sets free, is free indeed. Walk in your freedom today. Stop asking God to forgive you for something that you've already been forgiven for. Jesus went to trial for us people. Lord, I accept your forgiveness. Lord, I accept your freedom. That's all we got to say. Stop saying, Lord, forgive me for my sin. Your sins have already been forgiven. When Jesus died on that cross, man, the blood has... You don't have to shed blood anymore, my God. When you love someone so much, you're gonna do right. I do right by my husband, why? Because I love him so much. Not because he loves me, but because I love him. Mm -mm -mm. Whew, that's our strength today. Walk, let me see, how did I say it? Lord, I accept you dying on the cross. Lord, I accept your forgiveness. God would never bring you to court twice. Mm -mm -mm. That's called double, double jeopardy. When the guard lets you out, walk out the door. Don't go back into the, into the gate and say, I don't want to be free. God opened the door for freedom through Jesus Christ. Mm -mm -mm. Walk in your freedom today. 
I know that was a little heavy, but man, look, y'all walk in your freedom. God has already forgiven you for your sin. Walk in it. Man, this has been Lisa with Lisa 6 and 3. You go make it a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Be blessed.